Okay, question four wants us to express this as partial fractions. So we can say that we're going to get, we've got three um, brackets on the bottom of our um, fraction here. So we're going to split it into three partial fractions, a over three plus x, b over one minus x, and c over two x plus one going to make that just going to move that over a little bit we want that to equal our original question 9x squared plus 43x plus 8 over those three brackets 3 plus x 1 take x and 2x plus 1. Next job is to multiply both sides by the 3 plus by the denominator. So when we do that, it will disappear from the left hand side. And it will cancel out the, the term that we currently have on the bottom of these three fractions. So when we times it by the a term, the 3 plus x bracket will go and we'll only have the other two brackets. So the b1 will be the 3 plus x and the 2x plus 1 and the c will be the first two, 3 plus x and 1 take x. A couple of ways you can now solve this. I like to choose sensible substitutions to reduce the um, three equations down to one of the letters at a time. So the first substitution I'm going to do is let x equal one, because then this term will go and this term will go, and that will help me find b. So when x is one, we're going to get nine plus 43 plus eight, which is going to be 60. And on the right hand side, we're going to get b times by four, and times by three. So 12b is equal to 60, so b is five. Next substitution I'm gonna to choose to do is let x equal negative three, so that this term goes and this term goes and we can find a. So when x is minus three, I'm gonna use my calculator for the left hand side. So I'm typing in minus three equals so that I can then do nine answer squared plus 43 answer plus eight. which gives me nine minus 40 is equal to, what did we say? It's gonna be the A bracket. That's gonna be one minus minus three is positive four and minus six add one is minus five. So minus 20 equals minus, minus 20 A equals 40, A must be two. And then finally, to find c, we're going to let x equal negative a half. So I'm going to use my calculator again for the left hand side. All I need to do now is type in minus a half, press up on my calculator to get that last sum and press equals. And we get minus 45 over 4 on the left. Right hand side, we know we're going to have the c term left and that's going to be minus uh, sorry, it's going to be 3 minus a half, which is going to be 5 over 2, times by 1 minus a half, 1 minus minus a half, which is going to be 3 over 2. So that will give us um, minus 45 over 4 is equal to 15 C over 4. So C must be 3. Sorry, minus three. Just write that a little bit better. So we've got our A, our B, and our C value. And so don't forget to write the final answer. We're gonna have two for A. So that was over three plus X. We are gonna have uh, five for B. And that was over one minus X. 
and minus 3 for the last one, which was over 2x plus 1.